Gift is a platform game by French studio Echo System that parodies adventure games. It was developed by Cryo's creative director Philippe Ulrich creator of Dune and comic illustrator and author Régis Loisel. The game is set over ten levels in a full 3D world. Gameplay Gift is a 3D action-adventure game whose hero parodies the world of computer games. The game is set in eight 3D worlds, with characters found in these environments mock that characters from existing games, cartoons, and films, as a character Gift has special talents that can be manipulated throughout the game including the ability to fly, swim, climb, jump and even undertake death-defying leaps. In addition to arming himself with a special energy-powered staff, water jets, cannons and a vast collection of imaginative weapons, the game is jam-packed with challenging real-time puzzle-solving situations set against elaborately illustrated and stunning 3D environments. A unique feature is how light is used to impact on the gameplay. Throughout the game, Gift must fend off a host of enemies including the Little Clears and the Little Darks. Because the Little Clears are afraid of the dark, it is important for him to remain in the light. By doing this, the Little Clears will not be able to detect Gift. In order to eliminate the Little Darks, Gift must launch a fireball to illuminate an area so he can see the Little Foes. The gameplay is never predictable, and therefore requires players to constantly make decisions by working with the unfolding story by picking up power ups and clues along the way. The game enables players to change from third person perspective to first person view. This gives the game a lot more edge and variety, particularly when using arsenal of weapons. Plot A new game being tested has exhausted all the heroes who have already been assigned to rescue the beautiful princess Lolita Globo. Gift, a sneaky, overweight slob with a big mouth is the latest hero to volunteer for the job. Armed with a magic staff, his mission is to conquer the shadow of the Black Deep Dark Knight the enemy's leader. In doing so, he must lead seven dwarves to Lolita, who suffers from Snow White delusions, in seven worlds crammed with parodies of famous games and films, each of the seven worlds is inhabited by unsuspecting danger. Gift must battle, solve puzzles, be resourceful and constantly test his abilities to survive and ultimately conquer the opposing dark forces. The seven worlds are Tiptanic, Alcatraz, Star Stress, Draculand, Iceland, Paztec and Mine of Horror. Each world is led by one of the seven dwarves, who each have their own idiosyncratic personalities, from lust, envy, anger, laziness, miser, greed and vanity. The dwarves provide clues as to where Gift can find the Lolita. The objective is to collect the seven dwarves from the seven different worlds and surround them around the princess in the eight and final world. In so doing, Gift will be able to rescue his true love from the clutches of the shadow of the Black Deep Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> development and release <laughs> Design Philippe Ulrich served as creative director over all of Cryo Interactive's games. Ulrich had conceived of the game concept ten years prior to its release and remained involved in its production. The conversation had been triggered by a conversation with Régis Loisel. Together, the two devised the characters, world, and plot, infusing it with Loisel's unique art style. The duo approached the young development studio Echo Software created a 3D game engine specifically for the game. Echo Software was founded in 1999 specifically for the game. In the same way that architects would work, the team use exact measurements for each room, informed by the gameplay rules such as where characters are allowed to move across the screen and into the light. Next, the illustrators designed the lighting and aesthetic of each room. Then the 3D graphic artists created models of the room based on the concept art. Bitmappers drew the walls, objects, etc., and finally the mappers added images to the rooms. The characters were designed as a result of Loisel's research. The modeler created a triangle based wire sculpture, and then texture mapped the character image on top of the sculpture. The cartoonist created animations for physical actions of the characters, e.g., walking, jumping, climbing. The action speed and length of embowment were adjusted according to gameplay. 
After creating one character, Loisel designed a host of companions and enemies to populate the universe. The game borrows motifs from franchises like Tomb Raider, Rayman, Quake, The Matrix, and Star Wars. Cryo UK's MD, Stuart Furnival explained, We've taken some of the elements from Crash Bandicoot and Tomb Raider, and developed a hybrid of the platform and action adventure genres to create a contemporary, sophisticated, and unique game. Cryo advertised Gift was likely one of the very first video games to parody other video games. Topic release Cryo Interactive developed Gift for the Sony PlayStation 2, Game Boy Color, and PC platforms. It was born from the minds of creative director Philippe Ulrich and French cartoonist Régis Loisel. The game was originally intended to launch first on Game Boy and PC in November, then followed up with a release on PS2 in late 2001. The PC release was set for November 10 in the UK, alongside a game called Arthur's Knights based on the Arthurian legend. Their website had a GBC release for November 2000 and a PS2 release for April 2001. The Game Boy Color version was later pushed back to December. The developer showed off the Game Boy Color version at the European Computer Trade Show. On September 27, 2000, Cryo Interactive told IGN that the American publisher would be announced within two weeks. For the PS2 version, Cryo gave the game retouched graphics and 15 extra rooms. A localized version of the game was released in Poland on May 25, 2001. The game was released May 2001 in the Czech Republic. The game was distributed in the Czech Republic by Bohemia Interactive, who also created the Czech game manual. The game was released in Spanish in 2000, including a four-page translated manual. In September 2001, the game's price was lowered. A demo of the game was released with a November 2000 issue of Level 38 magazine. The PS2 version was cancelled in the US and unreleased in Japan and Australia. The game achieved relative success on PC. An animated TV series adaptation of the game, directed by Fred Loof, was broadcast on France 2 in 2005. Philippe Ulrich produced the music for the project. Produced by Shipowners, Molassine Productions, and Art and Esprit, the series consisted of 26 episodes running at around 13 minutes each. The series' first wireless broadcast was on July 2, 2005 on France 2 CD2A, and repeats were shown until June 8, 2008 on France 2 KD2A. Reception. IGN stated Cryo Interactive had managed to create a little devil of a character quote, quote, that would provide a brand new platform experience to the PS2. Eurogamer gave the game 7 out of 10, and said, Despite his cute bug eyes he is actually quite repulsive. The game does deserve to do well though on the strength of its well-worked puzzles alone. But remember, a gift is for life, not just for Christmas, or something. French site Jixvideo.com felt that the PS2 version was worth playing in an area lacking in good games, praising its universe and original scenario while commenting that the PC version had a friendly and tense atmosphere. Of the GB version, Jixvideo.com deemed it simplistic, weary and too short. French site Gamecult felt that GIFT's gameplay and graphics make it a platform game that is quite recommendable, even if was not the revelation of the year. Czech site Dupe.cz felt that Cryo Interactive was known as the creator of brilliant storytelling adventures, precise processing, and a revolutionary shift along with each new title. Although Gift does not seem to offer as much new to the genre as other Cryo Interactive titles, Polish site KZET found that the game's unusual characters, interesting scenario ideas, and surrealistic interiors, all flavored with a pinch of humor, create a fascinating atmosphere that makes the game quite interesting for both computer entertainment lovers and those who do not like games for games. GRY Online deemed the game both interesting and addictive, and felt its difficulty challenged the perception of platforms being a genre for children. Bonusweb praised the title for not just being for young or casual players, but for appealing to the entire gaming community. It felt however that the poor level design and camera work let the fun game down. The site felt the GBA version was a disappointment and not as good as it could have been. 
Santiago Lamelo Fagild at Mara Station wrote that even though he didn't like the genre and reviewed the game out of obligation, he found it relatively enjoyable. Play 2 asserted that while the creators had intended to revolutionize the genre, Gift had been a missed opportunity. Game.x wrote that the game was both beautiful and clever, though very difficult. Dupe felt the game proved Cryo was able to make good games in a variety of genres, not just in adventures that the company had been known for. Thought felt it wasn't as interesting as the company's other games. Console Plus gave the PC version a rating of 84% and felt it was a pity that the GBC version's gameplay wasn't very good, ultimately giving it 77%. PC Powerplay deemed it a challenging and controversial toward force. PPE.pl asserts that the gameplay is relatively linear. SME Tech praised the game's environments, soundscape, and gameplay. See also List of video games by Cryo Interactive